I have CP here. I'm sorry. Right. So I got kicked out. Uh, he got blown on my shirt. MTV Cribs. Let me show you around. Hey. Hey guys, Super Mario 227 here, and there is a car behind me, and it is a nice car. Uh, this is a 1977 Pontiac Trans Am. It is my dad's mid-crisis mobile. That's what we call it in the family, but he doesn't know that. Now he does. And we are going to be changing the oil. Now, I totally know about cars. Totally. So, I'm going to be filming it, and this is going to be our Friday video. Uh, if you're wondering where the hospital slash... CP medical mystery video is. Uh, it's not. Okay, that's gonna be there. Here on Monday. Oh, that gives a nice shot of the hood. What does that do? Huh? Where's the thing? There isn't one. First, we'll disconnect the battery so you can move it. Why'd you disconnect the battery? So it doesn't die. Okay. This. This is an engine bay of a 1977 Pontiac Transit. So, just for scale, this is my mother's Lexus RX 350. This is the engine bay in her car. As you can see, it looks a little different. Now, I happen to be wearing a Gas Monkey Garage hoodie, and that is pretty cool. That's where the oil goes in. It also lets the air in so that the oil will come out. And why do you need to let air in to let the oil come out? Because we want the... It's just a plug on the bottom, so we're going to open the plug. So you need a pan. Ah, an oil pan! If it's sealed, if it's, sealed it's harder to drain the oil. That plug right there. There's a little yeah. bolt looking thing. So this is the underside of the car, everybody. We've got the wheels on there. We've got the jack stands. You can see that one. And then we've got those little shock things underneath the wheels in the back. So this little guy, or this big guy, should I say, will not fall on top of us. I'm going to loosen this. Wait for it. I'm waiting for it. Wow. It like looks like a, a straw. That is not a straw, that is actually the oil pouring out. I think that's pretty much all out. Alright, so would you like to explain the little doohickey to us one more time? Uh, we're going to go under, wedge this up in there on the oil filter that's on it, and then when you put it on and you pull this, it grabs so you can loosen it. But there's only about an inch where you can actually turn this at a time, so it's a very... Alright. And this is my dad, still trying to nail his way onto the old oil filter. While the car pees over there. 
It's all scratched up. Okay, everybody, so dead center screen, you can see the oil still dripping out of the oil pan. Uh, until that finishes, we cannot continue. So, oil! Just chillax, bruh. Oh, wow, it's so still. You can see my police box. Um, look at that. You can see the, that looks like a mirror, but that is actually motor oil. Cool. I'm going to sit in the car. No, you're not. So, everybody, this is the inside of a 1977 Pontiac Trans Am. It's not much. And on the front of the hood, can anybody tell me what that is called? Screaming chicken? It's a screaming chicken. Still coming out? Still coming out. There's a lot of oil in there. We're gonna be here for, we're gonna be here for a while, folks. Maybe it'll help it. It's for the video, for the video. Now, a lot of you didn't know this, but the uh, fog lights for a Trans Am are split into four. Well, there has to be an end to it. There's only so much in there. Is that oil dripping from the filter? Yep. Yeah. I told you it was the messy part. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so now we are cleaning off the oil from the exhaust because if we leave it on, it'll catch fire. Which, again, stupid on Pontiac's part. Put the oil thingy not near the exhaust. So are you trying to get all the oil off, or like, like perfectly dry, or...? Alright, we're rolling. Go right. for it. The trick to the new filter is you have to put some oil in it, and you have to put oil in the seal. You have to put some oil in it. Because you don't want to start it with it empty. Then I put it on this seal. I can't see. Alright. Have me a flashlight, will ya? How mad would you be if I hit the horn while you were under here? How would I, how would I hit the horn? But like, how mad would you be? What you need to do is just put it back where the old one was? Yeah, I have it on, I'm just gonna get it tight now. With the little doohickey. And we got it on! Yeah! has the oil pan in it with this little guy. Ugh. Yuck. Yucky. Whoa. Alright everybody, so as you can see we've got that plate on there, but that is actually a fake. We've also got a fake one for the back, a Ban 1 1976 uh, Georgia plate. It's pretty cool. Now for the fun part. Now how much oil do you put for every, like, thing of stabilizer? You can only put four quarts total in there. So oh, so three in one? You just put a little oil in. This, this says use 20% of the system capacity, but that's too much. It's too much? So there's not enough oil if you do that. And like, how much, for reference, does your truck take? That takes five quarts. So that would be a quart of stabilizer for every four for the four quarts of what you call it. So I use that, and you get like three oil changes out of it. That's Stabil three sixty oil stabilizer. No, that's not enough drink yet because it's still going down there. There's no oil. I'll cut back when there is. Do it. Ooh, right there it's clear though. I see a little bit of oil. You guys can't see it because again it is clear. So. On the camera, it shows up as not there. But I thought oil is black. Is that a common misconception, or is that just... Well, it's like amber color when it's clean. So we're at... We're still in the ad area. What do 
are you trying to do? I was going to try and push it, but there's a little... And there you have it. That's how you change the oil in a 1977 Pontiac Trans Am from the movie Smokey and the Bandit. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like, drop me a like, comment, and a subscribe if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. See all the fun things I'm going to do this week. And if you are excited for the Boston Vlog that's coming out on Monday at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, make sure you go down and hit that like button. Let's hit 7 likes because this is a 1977 Pontiac Trans Am. Alright, see you guys later. Bye guys! Bye.